Hey guys, I will show you how to fix this problem on Windows system. In the first step, we need to open File Explorer. Then we need to select this PC and open C drive. Then we need to open Windows folder. And here we need to find out software distribution folder. Here it is. Open it and we need to select all these files and simply delete them all. Once done, we need to simply close this window and go to search bar type your task manager open it and here click on run new task then select browse button go to this pc open c drive again open windows open windows folder now open system32 folder and here we need to find out cmd.exe file so select it and click on open now check this box and click on ok once we are here we need to focus on command prompt window and close the background windows and now we need to type some commands here so type all these commands carefully and hit enter to execute them type in netsh winsoak reset and hit enter then type in netsh winsoak uh, reset catalog and hit enter then type in netsh space int ip reset reset log doc txt once done type in ip config space slash flush dns then type ipconfig space slash renew and then type exit to close the command prompt window and simply go to services tab once we are here we need to go find out the windows update services right click on it select properties set startup type as automatic click on apply and then ok again just select it and click on restart once done restart your system and your problem will be solved you can also check out our description link to fix this issue quickly and effectively and yeah don't forget to like the video you're good to go